the Rav, the Hispalo Davka Samach the Shkia. Now that's interesting too. Gam ko yinizka ma'od shalol la'om roko ba'avu samach the Shkia sachoma. I guess when he says la'om, he means what? Mincha? Kinizka begemora al pasak yirauha al a'im shemesh. You see with the sun, so he wants to see. He has to be sun. As that, I'm not sure which way he's going here. Let's look at the uh, at the tiv. Uh, the tiv says, uh, it says, "Od choyin nizchar maod lehispalo tefidas emincha davka besmuch l'shkias achama." Only specifically when the sun besmuch near the time of the shkia of shkia. This is the yeah, so that's that's actually the word. So what is it? Something I don't know. Medume dame means like something. What does that mean? What's the yerucho im shemesh? But the fee yerech a yerech David rebe the door doorim. What if of lifne yerech door doorim o pirish rashi? So we have to. I guess that's the whole phrase. The lifne yerech before the yerech is the moon. He's a uh, whereas I lost the place. We ever could do a dorim generate. I don't know what that means. Pirish Rashi. Ima the dumi chama. What's that mean? Philus yotzer ima neitz chama. So you say yotzer that is at the time of neitz, the which is yotzer really refers to kriya shema, but the philus of mincha im shkias chama. So both of them he wants to say have to do these two the prayer the morning prayer and the afternoon prayer have to do with the sun. You can see with the sun. So that refers that phrase. Yerucha im shemesh refers to the tefillah of Yotzer. But if ne yereach, and then before the moon shows, that's mincha time. So in other words, if you're too close to the time of when the sun comes up, and you're close to the time when the sun goes down, that's what he's saying. Od od isis sham begemara. What does that mean, that phrase? So it sounds like if you're just uh, doing it like it's rote, it's, then it uh, doesn't work. Uh, so he said, Pirish, what do they explain this to be? He said, that is, I guess, the idea of what the midumi chama is the two different times of that the either the sun coming up or the sun going down. Let's go to the next one. It's at simas and nayim. So he says also that you should close your eyes, and also put your hands together. I remember. Looking at David Fagan and the way that he used to play, always it took so long to to daven, and he always had his hands together at his chest, and uh, and his head bowed, you know, the whole time. Uh, so here he comes. Gamsark lizacher should be esa mida shall tefidas a mincha bilvad. Now he's only talking about mincha. What? She is as she as she the answer of the other of the stuff you do a your death of zoo al gabi zoo yad yamina yamones alamad smallest so how does that work over there so uh let's see we have something else here what am i missing here cough bob okay uh wait a minute there was more to that yeah let's re uh, okay i'm reading in two different places so let me read the the uh, part in the uh tiv itself uh, Bilvad, uh, so he says, shall also, uh, shall, also, you should clasp together, I guess, or bind together, but the Bible should take up your deco, Zem, Zazel, Al Gabiz, put one on top of the other. Yad Yamones, Al Yamad Smolis. Gan Sarak should, uh, should the answer, so that's one thing. If you should, uh, 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 should the Atsum, uh, a Necha, uh, but his garum, so you should really not, not be praying according to this. Out of the out of the sitter, but you should have your eyes closed. But only that you only do that only at mincha time. The is So we've already explained these two things. 
So the explanation of this is you have to have kabbana for both of them. The command by Osam at the Roshim Mishach Shinoyim Shiyeh Bein Shlosh Tefilos by Insham. Look over there, but let's see what we can get out of this. Take the kabbanas over here. Uh, let me just make sure that I got everything lined up right. So let's, uh, if I understand where I'm at. So Ode. So he says Ode. Min Hagi Tefilos a Mincha. When we talk about what's going on at Mincha time. Shatzarik shi uh uh shi yachabig yad yuminir al gabe yad smolo. So shnechem munachim al libo kenega the chaza that both of them were placed over his heart opposite uh uh at his chest, kenega the chaza. The chain that sarak la uh la ansam as a nov also clothing is either of a head of a gol, zer of the yesh la ansos, the mincha, the shas the fetus and meter of bilvad. Now he wants to say only. Does he mean only at Mincha time? Does he only mean over the, only at the time of Shmona Azra? By the time of the command, the Drashin or the Philos, later on we're going to see that. I'm not sure where uh, and where that goes. So you get, now we have the Neb Gam Sarek Shetta Atza Menacho. Let's see that, what, what the, what the uh, Tiv says about that. He says, Kasa Vashem and Sasam, the Kal Zero Bukhu Raka Shayakal, the Kavit Be'enayim Atsumin. That is, that only works. As long as you're able to really keep your concentration uh, uh, with your eyes closed. So, but if you're really combining more, I guess, in the words that are coming out of your mouth and looking at the Siddur, so the Kavana that you have or your intention to be able to do that is really the most important. She says that's really the halacha over there, like that. Gavarn is Bayer Shne and Yanim Elo, so he says this has already been explained elsewhere. A beer Kavana should Sarak Lakavan Bishnehem, so the idea that you have to have Kavana on both of them, the command by Ozim at Russian shall Shinuyehem, shall Shinuyem, Shiyesh Ben Shlosh the Fetus, the Ayn Sham, and it may be going to help us out a little bit. He says, not the Bekitzaka because Lush and the Rav Sham. So he said, "Vezel the show, the Rebbe Od Yesh Shin Hu Yechod B'Shlosha Tefilos and his Karn and his Karos and there's what Vuhu Zeh Ki B'Tefilos Shachris Ve'Esa Amida Bilvad Sha'ata Rebbe's Palav Tefilos Yod Ches Belachash where you're you're saying the eighteen you're saying quiet. So let me see just one second. He says one I, I I was my mind was going somewhere else right then. He said Rebbe Tefilos Shachris Ve'Esa Amida Bilvad." Shatem is Palat the Pidus Yudchas Belachash, Atat Sarak Lachabek Shte Yadecho, Vulhanir Yad Yemino, Yeminho, Al Yad Smolcho. Uh uh Pne uh uh Pne Kaf Yamin, so that's the face, I guess he means the palm of your hand, Yamim Al Gabe Achre Kaf Smolik. Ravatam Dover who the the reason for this is what? The fi shat filus yudchas uh oh uh uh oh uh, uh who can needs this emotion is there on pen i think it's the word oz i just couldn't see it well let me read it again and when you're saying the yod ches oz is the time of the kinesis of mocha and bizarre on pen good night the oz came yordan mispashti because gufo and what happens there is that the the mochen that are coming in when you're doing shmona azrei is going out through your entire body the Oz Sarak the Kalo the Lachabek Yumin uh Yumino. So now you what you have to do in order to make this work out properly is have the two right and the left side uh the smaller the Yumino. So in other words uh the Chabek to cause to cling together at the hug, the the right hand, the smaller the smaller the yumin and mix them together. The Lahamdeg Yad the small im yad the yum and that's the whole idea there. But he's only talking about then. He says apparently you have to, you know, we sing all the rest. That gets, what do you say before that? Uh, if you're Ashkenaz, you say Ashke, uh, Ashrei first. So you say Ashrei. That's you, there. You don't do this. But the also the Tedavik Shtecha Gedacho Zu Al Gabizer Kenisker. Then that's when you do this. Ki Uvarcha Daticho Ki Iku Tefidus Mincha. Who Amida Bavad is only the Amida. Because also maybe he's going to talk about more prayers somewhere else that we add on before Ashray. He says, uh, for example, uh, Pita Makatoris is, you see that in the other uh, Siddharam. 
Ainam Elam Minchag Baalme, it's only just a costume. All this again, the call Osam and Mizmor and those those psalms that we said called them to feed the Mincha, Ainam Elam Minchag Baalma. It's just a minchag. It's not the main essence where you're bringing in all of these mochim coming through your body. The so that Simas and I so what's shot over there? It's, it's, it's really a reference to what we saw over there. So this is the beautiful, the beautiful maiden, and uh, I think we may have looked at that as we explain it. The Olimta Shafirta for the Lizla and Ainim. Now there, I think he's talking about Rachel. So it sounds like he should be talking about Leah, who has bad eyes. It's a beautiful young woman. But she has no eyes. Why doesn't she have any eyes? The fish is sheer gumaza because the, her whole height who min a chaza the lamata the zir anpin is from the chaza going downward the zir anpin the ain kineg the chobe pechinus enayim and there are corresponding to that. Now this needs you know more explanation. He says because at the chest everything she has he wants to say is at the chest. Now how how this works? I I, I just trying I'm really scrambling trying to figure out how it is that she's facing the back of zir anpin as her normal position. So her back is his back. And we're saying that there are no eyes located at the chest area. Whose eyes are we talking about? We're talking about Zeranpin's eyes. So that means that whatever eyes that she had, she had to get from him, and she can't get it from him. This is my explanation. And she can't get it to him because she's too low. She's low the level of his eyes, so he's not be able to be mashpia her in that way. My answer. Okay, so I didn't make it up. He's saying it. So it's, uh, it has to be match for match, or she has to be at his height. The one's the mashma that when she's at his height, then the level or the level of his eyes, then she's able to see because she sees through the shaft that he gives it. And this, this, and I don't see the tight here either. He said because of the fact that at this time, what? Rachel is only at his chest, so therefore, uh, we therefore we close our eyes in 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 thought. That I, I really have to think about this in thinking about uh, where she's holding and, and the fact that she has no eyes at that time. Okay, not really quite sure how to touch that, but we're moving on. Okay, that was it. Oh wow, I did got to it. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, this is Baruch Fleischman, Tikkun Elevator Kolel.